everyone. Today we will embark on a journey of discovery into the lives and careers of two people who deeply marked Angelina Jolie's soul, her parents, John Voight and Marceline Bertrand. This is not just a story about celebrities, but also a story about love, family, and facing difficulties in life. Surely you have heard about Angelina Jolie, the famous Hollywood star, who has contributed significantly to the world of cinema. But today, we will look at the inspirations, values, and marks that her two parents left on Angelina's life and career. John Voight, a talented actor with many excellent roles, shared his love of acting with Angelina. But his story is also full of its own difficulties and challenges, from his tumultuous career to his complicated relationship with his daughter. Marceline Bertrand, Angelina's mother, is a strong and brave woman. Her life has been marked by love and struggle, from her work as an actress to her charity work and support for victims of domestic violence. With elements of love, sacrifice, and life's challenges, the story of John Voight and Marceline Bertrand is truly captivating. We'll walk through each stage of her life together and learn about how they influenced Angelina Jolie, turning her into the strong woman and talented artist we know today. Join me in this story to better understand these two passionate parents and how they changed the life of one of Hollywood's biggest stars. Angelina Jolie has made quite an impression on the world, but it turns out that her parents' experiences also helped her become the famous person she is today. The actress is the daughter of John Voight and the late Marceline Bertrand, both of whom have experience in the entertainment industry and the world of activism. Angelina has shared various quotes about how her mother and father have influenced her over the years and how they have influenced her work as an actress and activist, humanitarian and a mother to her six children. John Voight Yes, you are absolutely right. John Voight has made a deep mark in the film industry with his outstanding roles. His most memorable role in the 1969 film, Midnight Cowboy, truly made his name and earned him the first Academy Award nomination of his acting career. In the following 1970s, John Voight continued to show diversity in his acting. The 1972 film, Deliverance, cast him as a man facing bizarre and dangerous situations on a remote journey. This is an important turning point in John Voight's career. In 1978, he showed off his talent in Coming Home, a film about the Vietnam War, and won an Oscar for his emotional performance as a paralyzed veteran. And memorable, in addition, the 1979 film, The Champ, is also one of the outstanding works in John Voight's career. He portrayed a loving father and won an Oscar for this role, proving his versatility and excellent acting ability. These achievements place John Voight in an important position in the film industry and are an important part of the story of his life and career. John Voight not only made a name for himself with his roles in the 1970s but also continued to maintain a successful career decades later. In 1985, he excelled in the movie, Runaway Train, where he played a prisoner on the run on a crazy train. In 1993, he participated in The Rainbow Warrior, a film based on real events about the sinking of an environmental protection organization's warship. John Voight continued to enjoy success with roles in films such as 1995's Heat, 1996's Mission, Impossible, 1997's The Rainmaker, and 1998's Enemy of the State. In the 2000s, he continued to show outstanding talent through roles in Alley and Pearl Harbor in 2001, where he was highly appreciated for his acting ability. In addition, John Voight's regular role in the television series, Ray Donovan, from 2013 to 2020 also contributed to shaping the diversity and durability of his acting career. John Voight is truly one of the most talented and versatile actors in film history, and his achievements have always been an important part of the narrative of Angelina Jolie's life and career. Although John has not remarried since his divorce from Marceline, he has dated many different women over the years, including Linda Morand, Stacey Pickering, Rebecca De Mornay, Eileen Davidson, Barbara Streisand, Nastasia Kinski and Diana Ross. John and Angelina made headlines when it was revealed that they had been estranged for years during the 2000s due to friction between them. John expressed concern for her and her mental health in the media but Angelina hinted that his alleged infidelity during his marriage to her mother was the cause of their further conflict. When my father had an affair, it changed her life, Angelina wrote in an article for the New York Times in 2020. It set her dreams of a family life ablaze, but she still loves being a mother. Her dreams of becoming an actress vanish when she finds herself, at age 26, raising two children with a famous ex who will cast a shadow over her life. After she died, I found a video of her acting in a short film. She is good, anything can happen to her. In 2010, after Marceline's death, Angelina's husband, Brad Pitt, reportedly encouraged her to reconcile with her father for the sake of their children. He was very understanding that they needed him at this time, she told Vanity Fair of her father in 2017. I had to have a therapy meeting last night and he was with me. He knows some rules, don't make them play with you. 
just be a cool and creative grandpa, hang out, tell stories, and read books in the library. Marshalline Bertrand Angelina Jolie's mother, Marshalline, is known as an actress. She was born in Blue Island, Illinois and she later studied acting with Lee Strasberg, founder of the Actors Studio. She appeared in minor roles in several movies, including an episode of the 1971 television series Ironside, 1982's Lookin' to Get Out, and 1983's The Man Who Loved Women. Marshalline Bertrand began her acting career studying from Lee Strasberg, founder of the Actors Studio, one of the leading acting schools in America. Although she only appeared in small roles in a number of movies and television series, her love for the art of acting remained in her heart. However, what is special about Marshalline Bertrand is her dedication to humanitarian work. Her founding of the All Tribes Foundation with John Truddle to support indigenous peoples is a wonderful example of her compassion and commitment to improving the lives of those in need. The foundation has had a major influence in protecting and promoting the culture and economy of indigenous tribes. By 2007, the All Tribes Foundation's granting of more than $800,000 in grants to reserve-based programs to strengthen the way of life and protect the future of indigenous communities was a clear demonstration of the importance of the humanitarian work that Marshalline Bertrand carried out. She left behind an admirable legacy in both the arts and social work. The formation of the Give Love Give Life organization and the work of Marshalline Bertrand and John Truddle to raise awareness of ovarian cancer and other gynecological diseases through music is a highly respected example of the use of use art and love for others to highlight health issues. After being diagnosed with ovarian cancer in 1999, Marshalline Bertrand not only fought the serious illness but was also determined to use music to spread a message of love and hope. The concert and activities from the Give Love Give Life organization not only help create a fun and meaningful event, but also help create awareness about ovarian cancer and the importance of health screenings. Periodic Gynecology The organization held several concerts for the cause and made quite a lasting impression even after Marshalline finally passed away after battling both ovarian and breast cancer in 2007. Dot. Although Marshalline Bertrand passed away in 2007 after a courageous battle with cancer, the love and meaning of her and John Truddle's work in this organization continues to live on and have a lasting impact. Dot. It is truly an example of dedication and contribution to society that we can learn from and respect. John is the only husband in Marshalline's life. After they legally separated, she began a relationship with documentary filmmaker Bill Day that lasted 11 years. She later went on to date activist and musician John, with whom she founded her charitable organizations. Since Marshalline's mother and sister also passed away from cancer, Angelina used that knowledge and experience as a way to be proactive with her own health. She decided to have an elective prophylactic double mastectomy after undergoing genetic screening and learning that she was at high risk for breast cancer due to the BRCA1 gene mutation. Angelina wrote a touching essay about her mother and how she influenced her life for the New York Times in May 2020 and it included a lot of bittersweet revelations about their relationship and about women in general. When I look back on that time, I can see how much her death changed me, she wrote. The actress went on to say how much she has grown in her relationship with her mother. With my daughters growing up and at the age I remember so vividly as a girl, I am rediscovering my mother and her spirit, Angeline wrote, referring to the own daughters Zahara, Shiloh and Vivian, in the essay. She was a girl who danced all night on the Sunset Strip and loved rock and roll. She was a woman who loved, even after loss, and never lost her charm or her smile. Thank you for taking the time to learn with us the story of Angelina Jolie's parents, John Voigt and Marshalline Bertrand. These two truly left an esteemed mark in the film industry and social community. Always remember that, through their stories, we can learn about love, sacrifice, and the importance of humanitarian work. Please continue following to discover more interesting stories on our channel. We are very grateful for your support. See you in the next videos. Goodbye and have a nice day everyone.